I'm Randy Popst, and I'm at Atlanta Motorsports Park to track test this amazing track car, the Praga R1 Gen 5. It's a full carbon car. It's got a four-cylinder turbo engine making 365 horsepower, and it makes as much downforce as it weighs at 124 miles an hour. The Praga R1 is made in the Czech Republic. It's a little over 1,400 pounds, and it's 365 horsepower. The power to weight is amazing. It's a carbon fiber car. This one in the exposed carbon is absolutely beautiful. Huge splitter out front. Headlights if you're an endurance racer. And look what's underneath here. Race car, full inboard suspension. This is actually the anti-sway bar. And some computer knows exactly what's going on here, but not me. It allows very precise control of the spring rates because of these rockers, and it keeps the whole shock assembly out of the airstream, which is busy going back through the car to create downforce underneath with a flat bottom and ground effect, and to cool the car through its radiators. The engine is mid-engine. It's a single seat cockpit. I've already been in there and the owner's even taller than me, so it seems like anybody can drive it. Six speed sequential paddle shift gearbox from Hewland. Multi-element rear wing. Amazing amount of diffuser. These tunnels also create downforce. It's got little winglets on top of the diffuser. I've never seen that before. They're working the airstream that comes through the suspension because it's also inboard in the back. This car is pure race car. It's got nothing to do with street driving, no compromises. They say it pulls three Gs and enough downforce to drive upside down, sticking to the ceiling at over 124 miles an hour. Let's go. I'm all strapped into this Praga R1. It's a very racy and unique environment to a guy who drives sedans. I can't wait to get out and try it out. It's going to be really different. I've been in some real race cars before. I'm sure it'll all come back to me. And regardless, it's going to be great to experience Atlanta Motorsports Park at the wheel of something so capable. All right, team, here we go. Neutral here. It's the AMP on fast forward. better at low speed than that uh, Nissan LMP3 did. Yeah. Remember that thing was awkward and you couldn't tell what it was doing. This feels great at low speed. Yeah. And then it's even better at high speed.
about 90 degrees here at Atlanta Motorsport Park. Just got out of the Praga R1. I'm sweaty, I need a drink. I hate this car. What I hate about this car is it points out how I've gotten so out of shape since I quit pro racing. <laughs> it is amazingly capable. The amount of G-force it pulls in every direction is intense. And I was supposed to talk about the car while I was driving it and my focus narrowed right down to where it was all about the driving because I'm going through the gears out of the last corner and I'm braking for the next corner and it happens like that. It's like putting your uh, video camera on fast forward. And then <laughs> and you're back. Uh, really, really challenging experience in a car like the Praga that can generate so much G-force, especially laterally, the seat becomes much more important. A lot of times I drive street cars and I drive track cars and budget endurance racers and they're pulling one and a half G's and it's not, doesn't matter that much. Three G's, you gotta fit in that car. The steering is super quick and accurate. The balance was good. I could actually rotate the tail in. And I didn't really do it, the car did it itself. And it was all good. And then ripping out of a corner, pulling that paddle, boom, boom, boom. It was a very thrilling ride. The brake pedal is not that hard. It's not that high effort. I was braking with my left foot because the pedals really are arranged for that. And I'm normally a right foot breaker, but it was easy and I did a reasonably good job of it, I think. Braking is one area where I could have improved a lot. The car is so much more capable. I'm just not used to driving cars that generate these kind of g-forces in every direction i love it I, I ran it twice it's super hot i need to go hydrate maybe take a nap tomorrow morning i'm doing push-ups and i think jack's gonna let me come out and try to go a little faster in this product